Hello and welcome into the Weekly Warrior Preview. I'm your host, Donette Logan. The Upset. The Thompson Warriors prove why no one should count them out just yet as they are in round three of the playoffs. Plus, leaving it all on the mats, meet a freshman wrestler who says wrestling is making him the man he wants to become. And where are they now? We find out where some former Warrior standouts are today. That and a whole lot more after word from our sponsors. Classic Nail Spa is proud to be one of the best nail salons in Alabaster. We will provide excellent service with all the new trends. Come relax and pamper yourself with us today. Go Warriors! Let's take back this yard! Yeah! Yeah! Hold on, soldiers. There's an easier way to deal with mosquitoes and ticks. Wayne's Pest Control offers modern solutions that are safe and effective so you don't have to battle them alone. It's best to just call Wayne's Pest Control. Hi, I'm Dr. Ann Artavino, and I'm happy to share that we're providing oral appliance therapy for patients with obstructive sleep apnea. This is an FDA-approved appliance, so call us today for more information. Brooklier Pharmacy is your hometown pharmacy, offering competitive prices on prescriptions, hormone replacement therapy, compounding, medical equipment, and immunizations. Brooklier Health Mart Pharmacy, dedicated to providing the best health care for our community. Go Warriors! Welcome back to the Weekly Warrior Preview. Two down and two to go. The Warriors have returned home to host Enterprise in a semifinals. It's been a long time since the Warriors were called the underdog in the playoffs. But they found themselves in that situation last week, but proved that's a label they don't need. Now they host Enterprise in hopes to advancing to the finals. Matthew Moyer has the keys to the game. Thanks, Donette. What an exciting week coming out of Auburn, that drive back home. I had a ton of time to reflect on what an incredible game. For the Warriors to go on the road against an undefeated team as an underdog and play the way they did, I hope our fans fully understand the depth and the beauty of this coaching staff and of these young men. What an incredible performance. If there were three keys that I would point out to this game, they are this. Number one, do not look forward. Focus on the task at hand. We've got a huge game on Friday night. We need to make sure that we are dialed in and focused on that. Number two, the offensive balance that we have seen between our running backs, our tight ends and wide receivers. We've been spreading the ball all over the field and it has been a thing of beauty. And number three, look at the way that our defense has played not just last week or in the playoffs, but all season long. That leadership needs to stand up and continue to lead. And if those three things happen, it'll be a very fun Friday night. Warrior fans, I would be remiss if I didn't offer one huge word of thanks and gratitude. That's to Mr. Jerry Young. No one's ever going to replace Jerry. No one's ever going to try but to try and live up to the excellence and broadcasting standard that he set up, that's what Christina and Tim and John and I try and do every week. He set an incredible foundation, and it's one that we are honored to stand on. The Thompson cheerleaders are competing in state this week, but they're also getting ready for Friday night. They want all Warrior fans to wear your red, white, and black in Pack Warrior Stadium as they host Enterprise at 7. If you can't go to the game, be sure to catch all the action on the Warrior Nation Network. The past few years, we've watched several amazing athletes play their hearts out at Warrior Stadium, from Ryan Peppins, Jeremiah Alexander, Seth Hampton, and Peter Woods, just to name a few. When we come back, we find out where these standouts are now. Plus, small and mighty, meet a freshman wrestler who's making waves on the mats. That and a whole lot more after work from our sponsors. Since 1980, Mr. Bugs Pest Control has remained one of Alabama's top pest control companies. From residential to commercial, we always strive to embrace our industry's latest and most current technology. We provide our customers peace of mind by knowing their pest and termite control needs are met. Authentic Mexican cuisine right here in Alabaster. Combined with Sneaky Pete's hot dogs, this is a great place to stop in for a bite to eat. Online ordering and delivery is available at our Alabaster location. 
At Total Roofing, we understand the importance of a sturdy and reliable roof. Whether you're dealing with roof repair, restoration, shingle replacement, storm damage, or a pesky roof leak, we've got you covered. Call Total Roofing at 205-432-8395. Buddy's Barbecue, a family-run staple in Alabaster since 1976. We make barbecue the old-fashioned way and serve it with our handmade sides. From the class of 89. From 87. From 83. First eight champs. Always a warrior. Better Lawn and Gardens. We're located right here in Alabaster. We specialize in weed control and fertilizing, landscape lighting, lawn maintenance, and landscaping. We love serving our neighbors in Alabaster. Reach out for your free quote. Go Warriors! Welcome back to the Weekly Warrior Preview. 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Yes, those are the years mounted on the football complex for state titles, but they're also the years we have seen some amazing athletes walk out on the field for Thompson Warriors. But what is life like after Thompson? Let's start with one of our top recruits from the class of 2022, Jeremiah Alexander, known for being the sixth player in the nation overall. Alexander landed at Alabama, and then Edge Rusher has shifted to linebacker. If you watched the LSU and Alabama game, then you saw the now redshirt sophomore with two tackles in that game. Let's go to the class of 2023, the man everyone fell in love with, Peter Woods. Woods' first year at Clemson ended with him being named 2023 Freshman All-American. The defensive lineman started his sophomore season on several watch lists. Woods had to miss last week's game due to a head injury, but he'll be back this week against Pitt in a new position. From a warrior to a hornet, quarterback Zach Sims is now on the field for Alabama State. The 2024 Thompson grad is majoring in business. Sims says he is passionate about his money making money for him. And who can forget this guy, class of 2020's Michael Petway. The wide receiver has proven to be a key part of the program at Jacksonville State. He's even attracting NIL deals from local businesses and now being named on an NFL draft watch list. Seth Hampton also found his way to North Alabama. The class of 2023 linebacker got his first start as a true sophomore this year for the University of North Alabama against Austin Peavy. Seth is majoring in business and finance and set to graduate in 2027. Who can forget Quick Feet? Class of 2023's Ryan Peppins on the field for the UAB Blazers as a wide receiver. He's majoring in sports communication and maintaining a 3.6 GPA. Wearing more than just the football uniform in college is class of 2021's Trey Roberson. The wide receiver is a junior at the United States Air Force Academy. This season, he scored his first collegiate 45-yard touchdown catch against Navy. Class of 2022's Jax Van Zant is doing more than racking up yards on the field for UAB. The senior linebacker has logged more service hours than anyone else on his team. And finally, 2020's Evan McGuire is putting his degree from Auburn to use with a career at Integrated Solutions for Systems. He says his proudest moment at Auburn is being the starting kicker in the 2021 Iron Bowl. It's always great to see our former Warriors continue to grow and make names for themselves after Thompson. Thompson has produced several All-American wrestlers, and when you watch these guys at work, you see why. The boys dropped their opener match Thursday, but came back strong on Friday and Saturday with wins. The ladies came out the door dominating the competition with wins all week long. Now both teams will head to Mobile for the Gulf Coast Classic. And on that team, he's 113 pounds and a freshman, but Braylon says he is making a name for himself and wants to lead the team for years to come. So I'm with one of our freshman wrestlers, Braylon. And Braylon, I want to start with what do you like about wrestling? It's just hard. I just like the grind of it. Just, just the work? Just the work. Now, I asked you a little bit about what you like to do outside of wrestling. You mentioned video games. Yeah. What's your favorite video game to play? Uh, I like a game called Rust. It's, it's a fun, it's like a survival game. Yeah? Yeah. It's a survival. I think fishing would be a good way to do that. Yeah. You like to fish. Yeah, I like to fish. What do you like about fishing? Uh, I just like, it's calming and like, it's just, get your mind off of anything. It takes patience. Yeah, a lot of patience. So wrestling... Fishing and video games. That's basically how it's some you up, right? Yep. What do you want people to kind of look back at this season and remember you as, as a wrestler? Just a good, skillful wrestler that's fast and hardworking. And likes to grind. And likes to grind. <laughs> Braylon, thank you so much. you When we come back, this is what makes champions. Why Coach Mark Freeman says his Warriors have been preparing for teams like Enterprise for several years. Plus, the DL and the Warriors. You're watching the Weekly Warrior Preview. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Jacob with Doug Doctor USA. If you would like a healthier home, give us a call today at 205-980-0800. Or check us out on the web at DuckDoctorBirmingham.com. Doug Doctor says, Go Warriors! Shelby Fence Company is a name you can trust for outstanding fencing services in Shelby County and the nearby areas. We are the preferred contractor for fence installations and you can depend on Shelby Fence Company to provide superior fencing and gate options including chain link, aluminum and wood. Clothing, shoes, accessories and gifts, G&G Loft has all that and more. We also offer a full line of Merle Norman makeup. Come let our staff help you pick the perfect piece just for you. Hi, I'm David Stevenson owner of SRS 10 Graphics. Our number one objective at SRS is providing you with the best products and services available. Visit our website and see why we don't say we're the best, our customers do. Welcome back to the Weekly Warrior Preview. Thanks to the change in how the playoffs are done, we are seeing the Warriors face teams we haven't seen in years. Coach Mark Freeman says this is what he's wanted for several years in making sure his team was ready for it. You know, they had a great week of practice. It all starts with practice. And practice starts with the will to prepare to win a game. And they, they came ready to practice last week. We had a great week of practice. And um, I feel like we've had a great week so far this week. Just got to finish it up, you know, of course. And, uh, and just this time of year, um, the playoffs, it just means something different and I think our kids realize that. They've been around here a long time and this time of year you, you got to play. It's every Friday night's a sudden death um, situation and our kids performed well last week and we need to build off that and play every bit that good this week. I, I feel like we played a complete game last week. Defense played really well, got off the field. We got the ball back. We did, we did a lot of good things on offense last week. I think it was 12 possessions to 12 possessions if we can do that. I feel good about that, and like I said, defense played tremendous against a really good offense. That offense was averaging lots of points every game. Our defense did a great job checking them, and um, if we can keep that effort up, you know, this Friday night and, and get us a win, and I, I think it's the I, I, that's the ingredients we need. Playing great defense, being sound on the kicking game, they kick off to everybody on on the field. They'll kick the ball off on kickoffs everywhere. Um, so, you know, you got to work on special teams. Special teams this time of year has got to be perfect. Um, but just, I think, working on um, third down situations, um, drive starters, you know, what are we going to do on first down? Then the defense, obviously, is going to have a lot of different shifts and motions and different looks from what they'll do on offense. And then um, three of their players play offense and defense a lot. So I think if we can, if we can keep them guys active, it's going to help us too. It's now time for the DL on the Warriors. Car enthusiasts, listen up. The Thompson women's basketball team needs you. They're hosting Distinct Will's Timeless Appeal this weekend at the high school. To enter, you must be there by 8 o'clock and pay your registration fee. The awards will be giving out during halftime at the Thompson Thanksgiving Invitational. The Invitational is for the guys and girls teams. It will run Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. It is jam-packed with great matchups. Be sure to catch it all at Warrior Arena. The Warrior Bowling teams are in Huntsville this week for the Rocket City Classic. Both the guys and girls were ranked number one in the state coaches poll. That's going to do it for us here on the Weekly Warrior Preview. A big thank you to you guys for watching us each and every week, and thanks for sponsors who make this show possible. It's now time for the semifinals at Warrior Stadium as Thompson hosts Enterprise.